At age six, my guest was immersed with the fire of God. He radiates God's miracle healing glory and his God-given commission, it's big, is all Europe will be saved. Next. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We know you're here. My guest, John Luke Traxel, credits his demonstration of great signs and miracles to his deep friendship with the Holy Spirit. He was born in Switzerland, but at age six, he was immersed with the fire of God. His call, all Europe shall be saved. I want to find out about this baptism of fire. Uh, John, you told me just as we were going on there, what did you see over there? There is a healing angel who is just, just came back a few minutes ago and he's about to stir up the water of healing. So if you are sick, just get ready right now in Jesus' name. But tell me what happened at age six. Now, you come from a church that is non-spirit built. You have no paradigm for this. Uh, I, I'm just in awe over a six-year-old that has the experience you had. What was it? Well, I'm coming from the fifth and sixth generation born again Christian. My dad was a pastor, my grandpa as well, but from the Brethren Church, non-charismatic church. Uh, even my grandpa was the songwriter for the choir. <laughs> and, but at the age of five, I gave my life to Jesus. Uh, and that's the best things you can do today. So I opened my heart to the precious Jesus, the Messiah, and he saved my life. And at the age of six, I was on my pyjama in my bedroom. My parents did a simple prayer that every parent should do. And they say, Father, baptize our son with the Holy Spirit. And heaven just opened upon myself and the fire of the Holy Ghost came over me from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. The glory of God invaded my life. And I heard out loud God calling me to preach the gospel to the nations of the world. And on the same fire, I heard it out loud, Europe shall be saved. And that's the reason I have no doubt that I'm going to see Europe safe. But since a while, my life, my heart get enlarged and I have faith that America shall be saved, Africa shall be saved, the Middle East shall be saved in Jesus' name. Well, you know what? God told you all Europe will be saved. But God told you in the Bible, it is written, all Israel shall be saved. Now, uh, Jean-Luc, I've got to understand, did you feel a fire? Why do you say fire? What did you feel when this happened? It was like tens of thousands of electricity came over me. It was a power, it was electric, but it was a river of liquid fire that just came over me. And I believe this is the day what the Lord wants to do for everyone. He wants to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. I, I agree. Now, John Luke attended Oral Roberts University and actually had the key to Earl Roberts' personal prayer room where he prayed for great miracles, worshiped God, read revival history. Jean-Luc was desperate for God to release the same healing power again. And then you got a revelation that great men and women of the past knew about Acts 10:38. Who knew about it and what was the revelation? That's right. Uh, I was so hungry, desperate to see God's power. One of my passion, I have hundreds of books about revival and uh, this healing and powerful men and women of God who moved, especially with miracles and healings. And I say, Lord, we need to have back these things. So actually I was stud studying at ORU, but at noon I was praying and fasting, having this key to this personal private room of oral. And for like months I was just on the knee, praying 
praying, crying out to the Lord. And I never forget, one day the Lord said, go just to this little door, there is a little hole, just look on it. And I look on this, and I saw the Lord releasing a very strong anointing about Acts 10, 38, anointed by the Holy Spirit to do the great things, doing miracles. And I got this revelation, we need not only the Holy Spirit anointing, but we need Jesus in ourselves, both. But part of this revelation also of what the Lord told me, he said, Jean-Luc, what I have done in the past, it will be greater what's gonna come. Now, what you need to do is to be able to see the mantles of those who are before you Failing down, you need to take it, don't copy what they have done, but hit your Jordan and enter your promised land. Came back in Switzerland and the power of God started to move in a different way, but in a strong way. Now, you said that one thing you noticed, these great mothers and fathers of the faith all believed and honored the Holy Spirit, a very important thing. That's for sure. All these healing ministries, as I'm the president of the International Association of Healing Ministries, uh, I know personally most of these healing ministries moving today, but also I had the privilege to meet some who are today to this cloud of witnesses, uh, like Reinhard Bonke, who was a very close friend of mine, a mentor for me, but also I have the chance to speak with Oral and uh, uh, Ralph Wilkerson, all of them, they had a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is really the key. Last night, I, I wasn't even going to include this, but he showed me a picture about a meeting in Lyon. Where is Lyon? Lyon is in France. It's a very difficult city. And the Lord spoke to us as we do healing ministries or healing conferences in different places. One day he spoke to me to go over there. When I call the people or say that to my team, they say, you are crazy. It's at such a difficult place, a lot of Freemasonry and oppression. You will never make it. And actually, I said, that's the place we have to go. <laughs> because if it's dark, that's where the God's glory will be manifested. So we rent a big hall and the people came by, thousands of people. And that's where the glory of God gets manifested. What happened? Well, if the first night uh, uh, I started to preach, uh, it was really, and I have the picture, you can see that uh, probably you will see that on my social media or wherever. You can see it, uh, that it's a normal meeting. When I start to preach, suddenly the glory of God come. You can see on the picture, the light is coming. It's not uh, electric light, it's the glory of God. And at the same time, I start to shine. The people couldn't see anymore my body. It's really like a light. And myself, I can no more see the crowd. And it's full of light. So I'm preaching, and as I'm preaching with such authority, in the middle of the preaching, I say, in the name of Jesus, paralyzed spirit, leave this place. What I didn't know, a lady on a wheelchair since 20 years, she came with her husband, with one of the top medical doctors from Belgium. They do, couldn't do anything, but they came without believing. They didn't believe, but they came and they were in the middle of the crowd. And when I took authority, the power of God hit her. She was ejected a few meters out of the wheelchair. They run away at the hotel, scared to death to what happened. But during the night, they realized that she was totally healed. And the next days, next weeks, I received a report for the medical hospital that she has been totally healed by God's grace, but the power of God. Now, what, what is describing is not unusual. And it all started as a child when the fire of God came on you. Jean-Luc had a visitation from Jesus in Jerusalem that opened him up to the greater miracles beyond description. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. 
Start living life right now in the supernatural lifestyle of miracles and healings that is your true inheritance. Just call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Jean-Luc Traxel's brand new book, Moving in Miracles and Healing, a supernatural handbook. And you will also receive an exclusive three CD audio teaching series by Jean-Luc, How to Contend for Your Miracle. All yours for a donation of just $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9915. I do believe what God did 2,000 years ago when He went from places to places, healing the sick, casting out demons, doing good. It was an example for every believer. I'm going to teach you how to do it, how to move in the supernatural realm with the power of the Holy Spirit. Dive into Jean-Luc Traxel's powerful handbook on operating in miracles and healing, and you will learn the five keys necessary to move in healing power and begin to encounter firsthand the God whose very name is Healer. Discover the biblical legal authority for healing that will give you unshakable faith for the miraculous. See how faith is the currency of the kingdom. Understand why healing the sick is a vital element of discipleship and a powerful sign that God's kingdom is at hand through you. Have all the resources you need to guide and equip you, including scripture references, topical studies, and more that you can use to operate in healing and miracles. As you listen and apply Jean-Luc Traxel's teachings from his How to Contend for Your Miracle 3 CD audio set, you will partner in God's work with the Holy Spirit as your close friend. Learn how the different kinds of wounds that Jesus suffered on the cross correspond with the kind of prayers you can pray for healing. Go deeper into using the five revelatory keys to move in God's healing power and experience your own personal breakthroughs. Call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Jean-Luc Traxel's brand new book, Moving in Miracles and Healing, a supernatural handbook. And you will also receive an exclusive three CD audio teaching series by Jean-Luc, How to Contend for Your Miracle. All yours for a donation of just $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9915 or send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9915. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. John Luke, you said something to me and you teach on this something that I've heard others say, but you're not just saying this. This is for real, that the key that launched you into this great miracle ministry had to do with being best friends of someone. That's so. correct. Uh, at the age of six, like I've said, I get baptized with this Holy Spirit uh, and fire. But at the age of 16, I discovered it was not just a fire or an atmosphere, but it was a person. And I made a covenant with him. I say, Holy Spirit, uh, I'm ready now to go to preach the gospel. I'm shy. People don't believe today, but you can ask <laughs> my parents uh, or my family. I'm a shy person. But I ask, fill my mouth with your word. And the condition is that you confirm it with signs and wonders, healings and miracles. Uh, and as a sign of that, uh, I want today to make this covenant and to ask you to become my best friend. And from that time, I'm moving, going, traveling around the world with my best friend, and he's my partner as well. So we walk together. You say, you teach on this. There's a legal foundation, a legal foundation for healing. What is that? That's right. Uh, it's what I've wrote to my la last book. Uh, uh, when I'm praying for the sick, if I'm in front of hundreds of thousands, or if it's by phone, or if it's on the street, uh, the first things I do, I connect to Jehovah Rapha, God the healer. So it could be just a few seconds, but uh, I just go to the source. He is the healer. The second thing, uh, I put my faith, my feet uh, on the legal foundation because we are living in a spiritual world uh, and the things that has been set up, uh, it's Isaiah 53, 5. Uh, through the stripes of Jesus, uh, there is healing. So when I pray for the sick, I know 
it ha it's done. It has been paid because Jesus died on the cross uh, and through his stripes uh, there is healing. And I feel very strongly right now the benefits of the cross are just flowing right now to you at your house. Uh, whatever you are suffering from, if you have pain in your hands, uh, that's the reason he has been nailed. Receive your healing power to your hands. Uh, the same to your feet. Uh, those who have mental trouble, he wear a crown that went probably to the brain with crazy pain but through his stripes right now every mental trouble disease are healed in the name of Jesus Christ any pains that you have right now it's illegal the legal foundation is that through the stripes of Jesus there is healing right now receive it right now in Jesus name and then, come on now, provoke me to jealousy. You guys always do that. Uh, you saw, you actually saw the face of Jesus. Yeah, that's something that is, was unique and fantastic. Uh, actually, I brought 500 French people to Jerusalem. That was the first time in the history. And uh, we did the tour, but my first things I wanted to see, it was the Pool of Bethesda. So we arrived over there with all the group, the group stay with the guide and listening all the historic things. Me, I went straight to the place. The reason, the main reason, I wanted to see the healing angel. So I went to the place, I turn one time, I look around and I couldn't find the healing angel. So I went again, I make the tour, I look almost behind the stone, there were no healing angel. So I left very sad, I left the place and when I was about to leave, suddenly on my left side, I saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus like I'm seeing you right now, face to face. I recognize his face and he was crying and I said, Jesus, what are you doing here? He said, I'm here because I want to heal the sick, but they are too busy and they don't want to get healed. I said, Jesus, please allow me to do something. Wait there, I will find a way that you can do what you have to do. I ran to the place, there is a Catholic church, it was packed, I went to the priest and I said, priest, with all the respect, I have the impression that God wants to heal the sick. He said, we have no time, we are out of the time. And I was so disappointed, so I went to another group and I turned to them, I said, I do believe that today God wants to heal the sick. They say, no, we have not the time. We are out of the program. We need to go to take the bus. I started to cry. I went back to my precious Jesus. I said, Jesus, now I do understand. I'm so sorry for that, but please, Tomorrow night in Jerusalem, I've read the Ramat Rahel. We are expecting people from everywhere. It's gonna be packed. I invite you as my special guest. He smiled at me. He said, I'm gonna come there. <laughs> And what happened? <laughs> you would love to I know. I want to know. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so we started the meeting. The meeting was overpacked. It was, according to some many people over there, it was packed not only with Christian, but we had Orthodox Jews, Muslim uh, from different re religion. They were there, packed because it was a healing service. Uh, and we started to worship. When I started to sing all the glory of the Lord, suddenly the Lord ap appeared on the right side, on the left side, the door just gets open and Jesus entered the place. And I saw it because the days before, I didn't spend time to prepare my message. I was on my knees being sure that I will recognize him when he will enter the room. Now he's in the room and miracles just happen. He start by the background, back back the, the last seats uh, and he start to touch the people. Never forget, one person had a destroyed shoulder. The shoulder just get tried, get recreated. Uh, then he turned to somebody who had a trouble with the knee. The knee just get totally healed. Uh, another guy had a death here. The Lord just touched it in a sweet way. He touched it, the ear just opened up. Me, I was just there as a spectator and I was saying, the Lord is doing that, the Lord is doing these things. And then suddenly I saw the Lord passing behind. He went to the other part of the room to a lady that we brought from France who was in a wheelchair. 
he, with a big smile, that's the things that impressed me, with a smile, he took her hand, he helped her to get out of this, the wheelchair, and she started to run, and God's glory was on the place with so many people getting healed. I, I tell you what, at the conclusion of this show, I urge you, I urge you to go immediately to our live show. Go to our live link at sidroth.org forward slash miracle, where John Luke will pray for you to receive the fire of God. And don't you forget that healing angel is in this studio right now, and many have actually received God's fire, and it's transferable. But there's one requirement. You have to know that you are a child of God. You have to know Jesus lives inside of you. You have to have your own experiential knowledge of God. Just religion without an experience is just religion. Repeat this prayer out loud and mean it to the best of your ability. Dear God, Dear God, I am so sorry for my mistakes. I am so sorry for my mistakes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For your life. For your life. Being released in your blood. Being released in your blood. That washes away every sin. That washes away every sin. And I am clean. And I am clean. And now that I'm clean. And now that I'm clean. Jesus, come and live inside of me. Thank you for being my Savior. Thank you for being my Savior. Saving me from my sins. Saving me from my sins. And I make you now my Lord. And make you now my Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go to live show, just a few minutes, Sean Luke, uh, you told me in Jerusalem, point at it, and what, what did God show you? When since early this morning as we enter the studio, I see just in this building there, uh, on the eighth, eighth floor, I see number eight, so I think it's eighth floor, there is a man called Yosef, uh, and you are crazy pain, and the Lord is just willing to heal you. It's an incurable disease. You are crying out to the Lord. Yeshua, the Messiah, heard you cry and is healing you right now. No by mind, no by power. Be healed, Joseph, in Jesus' name. And I feel the power of God just moving right now. All those who are sick, especially if you have terminal disease, cancer, incurable disease, I break the power of darkness over your life. I set you free. I open I open the cage, I open these jails, like depression, burnout, be free and heal right now, not by might, not by power, but through the Holy Spirit. Receive right now your healing in Jesus' name. And there are people whose wrists, there's something wrong in your wrist, you just move your wrist, you'll see all pain, and it's been totally restored, totally. Don't you forget, live show right now.